Yesterday, I woke up, walked into my office, and just stared at my screen. I, I couldn't do anything. I, I was paralyzed. I had this mental list of everything I needed to do, everything I needed to study, every video I needed to make, and it it overwhelmed me. It literally left me frozen. Like I, I didn't know how to start, and I didn't know what to do. So have you ever been there before? Just like felt helpless, felt stuck, just done. In this video, I'm going to cover two steps that you can take to help with this feeling of being overwhelmed. This video is both for you and for me because when I when I had this overwhelming feeling, I forgot what to do. I've been here before, but I forgot how to address it. So what did I do? Well, I, I asked you for help. I asked you on Twitter, on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, and I received hundreds of responses and they were so helpful so th thank you so much if you gave a response to those uh those questions and this video will be a curated list of all the comments i received the things i'm going to implement into my routine when i again start to feel overwhelmed i'm using it now and i will use it in the future the two steps are pretty simple with a few sub steps first step is just stop the second step reset when i was feeling overwhelmed i felt like i couldn't do anything but i felt like i had to do everything and i was trying to do everything but i didn't do anything like that's frustrating right I, just saying that is frustrating so i needed to stop and there's a few things you can do to just stop and step away to help you kind of recover from that mindset because it's the mindset that's bad so many of you suggested to step away and pray or, or meditate. Just take a moment to kind of find serenity, um, collect your thoughts. Uh, for me, that meant talking to God, talking out my feelings, um, reassessing my mindset. That helped tremendously. Oh, and by the way, you can do these in any order. Many of you said exercise, and that's that was awesome. That like that totally worked. Uh, stepping away and doing something physical. That's you know getting away from your mental craziness and doing something that just involves your body, produces those endorphins that help you to be happy. Putting stress uh, towards something else, you know, lifting weights or running really hard, uh, does change your mindset. It resets your body, which then in turn resets your mind. This one is funny because I didn't consider it, but it makes total sense. And it's taking an emotional time out. Um, because when you're overwhelmed, it's a very emotional uh, situation. Like you're, you're, you're upset, you're, you're sad, you're depressed, you're, you're maybe possibly angry. Uh, all these emotions are tied into what you're doing. So take an emotional timeout. Now, what does that mean? It might mean smashing up a phone. So I did that. It helped a little. It might mean stepping away and watching a really fantastic, moving movie or film like uh, Braveheart. Get caught up in the in the freedom and the fight and just the exhilaration. Or maybe it's watching a, uh, a romantic movie with your spouse. And just giving your emotions a time out from feeling overwhelmed and maybe feeling sad or touched or just anything. Engaging in something else is a, is a key thing. That's the majority of what this stop step is including is ways to disengage from what you were doing to do something else. Another just fantastic recommendation was spending quality time with family and friends. Uh, taking that break to just remind yourself of people you have around you, uh, it's so therapeutic. So for me, that meant going and hanging out with my kids and my wife, playing a game. Uh, it, it does a couple things for me. It reminds me of why I'm doing any of this. Why am I working hard? Why am I studying? What's for these people? So it kind of reignites and, and realigns my why. It also helps you kind of reassess what's valuable to you and maybe help you figure out uh, how to deal with your schedule, how to deal with what's making you overwhelmed because now you're looking at your family and, and your friends and you're like, this is, this is really what I enjoy. This is really what I value. How can I change what I'm doing to make this better or to prioritize your family and your friends? That's what it did for me. And then I think one of the best pieces of advice you guys gave was just ask for help. Asking for help is so key, which is what I did asking you guys, what, what do you do? What do you do to deal with uh, the feelings of being overwhelmed? And you gave such great advice. Um, what I would also recommend is, hey, um, jump on the phone with a friend. Um, talk to your spouse. Like, uh, and it's, I think it should be someone who doesn't do the same thing you do or isn't into the same things you are in. Like maybe someone who's not into IT and who's not studying all the time. Um, so for example, my wife, I, I talked it out with her and it was so helpful because she's not in my world. 
and getting that different perspective helped so much. It helped me step out of my, my bubble and see things a bit more clearly. This piece of advice is probably my favorite. Yep, it's my favorite. And it's procrastinate. Now, hold on. I know many of you probably heard that word and go, oh, license to be lazy. Heck yeah. No, no, no. This is to help you step out of your overwhelming feeling only. Now, I don't think I have to tell you ways to procrastinate because I feel like we all have um, a great understanding and, and we're very well practiced at procrastinating. And for me, a lot of times that means stepping away and playing Call of Duty, playing video games. It actually checks all the boxes for stepping away. It engages my emotions. I get super angry or exhilaration when I kill everyone. It's awesome. Don't make it a habit, but use it as medicine. So stop. Those are some ways you can stop doing what you're doing. Some very helpful ways that can kind of help you get out of that mindset. And once you have stopped and your mind is in a better place, now it's time to reset. It's time to reset your priorities, your schedule, what you were doing, because what you were doing before, obviously, was not working. Otherwise you would not have gotten overwhelmed. So here are some things I did to kind of reset. And a lot of it was advice from you guys. The first thing I did was I wrote down everything I felt I needed to do right now. Once I had a list of everything I was trying to do, uh, it became a lot more apparent why I was having a problem. I was trying to do too much. I was trying to study for multiple exams all at once, CCMP route, CCMP switch, DevNet Associate, Linux Plus, all within a very short amount of time. They all had to be done within February. It was a recipe for disaster. And I was also balancing trying to create content for CBT Nuggets and creating content for YouTube. I just was trying to do everything. And that's, that's horrible. It's a bad idea. I don't know why I was doing this. Come on. <laughs> but it wasn't obvious to me because I didn't have it listed out like that. And once you have that list, rip it up, throw it away. No, uh, take that list and write a new list. But put the things that you know are the best things for your time and your energy right now, the prioritized things. Draw from your experiences of stopping and reflecting and, and kind of taking a break. And now with a clear head, say, what is it I really need to focus on right now? What's important for my career, for my life, for my family, for my friends? And once you have those things prioritized and you've reflected and, and, and decided what's important to you, start to cut some things out. You gotta be realistic about what your schedule has right now. Uh, wh what's on your plate? And you can't look at other people and compare yourself to them. Uh, I know we, in the IT world and in, in a lot of industries, we, we get caught up in looking at what he's doing or what she's doing. And they're studying for so many things and they got their CCIE and they're, they're studying for three exams, but they're not you. Your circumstances are different from theirs. Your why is different from their why. So to give you an example, for me, I'm trying to study for multiple certifications and, and have a full-time job at CBT Nuggets and also make content for YouTube uh, while trying to become a hacker. And I have four kids. I'm doing too much. I have to cut back. I have to be realistic. So that steps into the next step you'll want to take is say no to things. Do less. So looking at my list, I had the CCMP route and the CCMP switch exam I was trying to complete within this month. And the more I thought about it, and looking at my why, my only why for completing those two exams was to, to just get the CCMP for the sake of saying I, I did it. So it made sense for me to go, nope, CCMP route, nope, CCMP switch, I'm cutting you out. I'm gonna focus right now on the DevNet Associate. Plus I wanna be a part of that DevNet 500, which if you don't know about that, the first 500 individuals certified uh, with the DevNet uh, certification are recognized and get a special certificate or something, I don't know, but I want it. So I cut some things off my list. I decided that I'm going to do less. And by doing less, I actually end up accomplishing more uh, because being overwhelmed, I ended up doing nothing. I ended up being burnt out and frustrated with myself, frustrated with the, my lack of getting started. Uh, doing less is the best. So after you have your new list, your better list, a list that's healthier for you, now you need to reestablish your routine because routine is, is the key to getting things done. It really is. Your daily routine, your daily habits, your daily schedule, those are what actually make things happen in your life. And that's also very important because often when you're overwhelmed, and this was the case for me very much so, you will start to not obey your routine, things that you know are important for you, like eating right, or working out, or studying this and that, or spending time with your family. You'll start to take those daily habits that were very important for you, and put them to the side so you can focus on the, the things you're trying to get done, things that were making you feel overwhelmed, studying for multiple cert exams or uh, staying late and working on this project. My routine was out of whack and odds are that yours was too. So I needed to reestablish my routine, get a healthy routine, look at my priorities and set up my routine the right way. And then lastly, this might be one of my favorite pieces of advice I received from you guys uh, on the reset um, step here. And that's go slow. 
and be okay with that. There's a great little sentence I read in the advice you guys gave. It was a uh, go slow. It's the fastest thing you can do. And that doesn't sound like it makes sense, but it totally does because when you, when you slow down and you take a breath and you focus on something, you end up doing it so well and it ends up making sense and clicking. So uh, that's the advice I have to give myself because I'm trying to go so fast and accomplish so much so quickly, but no, I need to go slow, enjoy it. And I think the same thing could be true for you. I know right now hustle culture is all the rage and uh, you want to study for certifications, get like 50 certifications this year. I get it. I know that. But some things just take time. Some things will take you longer and that's okay. If you're just getting started with networking or Linux or programming, the, the beginning is going to be slow and that's, that's a okay. You want to, you want to take your time. And often if we, if we go too fast, we forget to enjoy ourselves in the process. And if you never capture that, that enjoyment in the process, then you're going to hate it down the road. So slow down and enjoy learning. And that was my problem is I, I stopped enjoying it. I was just trying to get it done, get it done, get it done, get it done, accomplish, go, go. And it wasn't working for me. So the thing I'm trying to preach to myself and I'm hoping that will, will uh, get, get through to you is that you have time. Now, sure, going slow now might mean that you might miss a few opportunities to come by. But I'm telling you, for people that work hard and that are persistent, there are always opportunities, always. There will always be another one. I believe that. So the next time I feel overwhelmed, which I'm hoping it doesn't happen soon, but I know inevitably it probably will happen because um, if you're ambitious or if you're uh, trying to get ahead, you end up saying yes to too many things, which I'm working on, but it's probably gonna happen at some point. Uh, next time it's gonna happen, I'm gonna stop and then I'm gonna reset. Stopping means stepping away, getting out of that mindset, taking an emotional break, procrastinating, spending time with family, uh, exercising, praying, meditating. And then once I've gotten myself out of that just tumultuous mindset, then I'm going to reset. I'm going to write my things down, prioritize, cut some things away I don't need, uh, reflect on what's important. I'm going to do less things, reestablish my routine, have a rock solid routine that's healthy for me, my family, and that also is productive for what I'm trying to do, what my goals are. And then I'm going to give myself a break and say, go slow, enjoy the process because you do have time. Now, this was a curated list of things that you guys gave to me uh, at the end of this video. I'm going to have just a, uh, a quick bites of uh, all the things that you guys said and, and you, you can watch till the end. It's such good advice. And if you want to go look back at those posts on my Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, all of the advice was so great. So if you're feeling down or need encouragement, uh, bookmark those posts and that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> when I need help, I'm going to go back and, and ask you guys for help. Oh, and by the way, if you uh, like what you're seeing here, if you like IT, coffee, beards, anything I'm talking about, I would be honored if you hit that subscribe button and uh, join me on this journey and hit the like button on this video because we have to satisfy our YouTube robot overlords. They make the rules. Well, anyways, guys, that's about it. Thank you so much for helping me out when I felt overwhelmed and I'm hoping that this will help someone else. When you feel overwhelmed, come back, watch this video. And uh, I mean, I'll probably end up watching myself again just to remind myself, stop, reset, stop, reset. I'll catch you guys later.